One of the things that I wish people understood about um, mental health is that a lot of things are not a personal problem with someone's brain or a chemical imbalance in their brain, but a problem with society and the way that society treats people. If someone is treated as a child and for years and years as a burden, if someone is literally told constantly and unavoidably for something outside of their control that they should be dead, yeah, that's going to create depression, anxiety, trauma-based disorders, dissociative disorders, and also people growing up with extreme, seemingly volatile reactions to things from it triggering their trauma. And it's like, I, as a disabled and transgender person, was, and am, literally told for my whole life by the society I live in, by people who used to be my friends, by people who used to be my family members. Since day one, even before I was out of the closet, even before I knew I was disabled, you know, even as hypermasked as I could possibly be, I was shown that I'm just seen as a burden and youthless and worthless, and that the world I live in not only doesn't want me, but is actively working against me and people like me. And actively driving people to torture and death and systemic subjugation and poverty, homelessness, um, crime, uh, institutionalization, and more. And it's like I've seen it happen to so many people around me. I've seen so many people like me suffering for my whole life, even before anyone knew that I was trans or autistic or a DID system. Now I just have a label as to why and I know that historically, my country, the USA, um, has and continues to work towards the death of all of my minorities. And that unfortunately, this is the reality I'm forced to live with, as are many, many other people. And there is an active systemic genocide right now of transgender people in the USA. There, my existence is illegal. There are There is over 400 laws right now, as of the last four years, that were not there before, that are accumulating and growing exponentially in the last few years since COVID. They are doing whatever they can to criminalize my existence and people like me. So it's like, yeah, people are suicidal. Yeah, people have low mental health, and I might break down and cry on camera sometimes because people are desperate for others to wake up to the truth and see what's happening around them because people's intolerance, ignorance, and apathy is killing people. It's leading to the death of children. It's leading to the death of many people because people would rather just be stuck in their ways and listen to propaganda than love their own kids or listen to the people around them, you know, because, you know, there's that saying, be careful who you hate because it might be someone you love, you know, like a lot of times the people closest to you, you may have no idea, but they could be autistic. They could be, um, disabled they could be adhd they could they could be transgender they could be gay you don't know <laughs> like you don't know and a lot of times it takes people a long time to realize these things within themselves too and it's like if you're just going out here making assumptions or like spreading bigotry it doesn't matter if if you think you're an ally it literally doesn't matter if you're still saying stuff that's hurting people that blood is on your hand the blood of my of my demographics, the blood of autistic children and the blood of transgender children is on is on your hands. It's on the hands of all the people doing nothing or sitting idly by or ignoring it or just watching. It, it's it's on the hands of everyone. And it's like I have to sit and live with the with the fact that I don't own the same rights that other people around me take for granted and that I my existence is seen as a crime. It's like I am treated as... I've been treated as a demon for my entire life to the point that I embrace it because at least demons don't treat me the way that humans have for my whole life. <laughs> like, I, I 
got into sorcery as a means of protecting myself because there is no protection from humanity. There's none from the society I live in. And I live in a so-called safe state, right? But a lot of this allyship is entirely performative and people are turning away and harming people. And it's like, unless you're able to conform, they just treat you like crap. They treat, they literally tell you that you should be exterminated. I've been told that before. And I get, I see or am told things like this all the time, just existing. And it doesn't matter if I tune it out online because I have to deal with it in person still. And it's like, people don't understand that mental health difficulties and a lot of these disabilities are from years and years and years and years of having to deal with this stuff of being told that you're worthless that you're a burden that you're all these different slurs that you shouldn't exist you know we get told this stuff and then people wonder why kids are dying they wonder why and they're like oh how could this have happened and they don't care until the person's dead you know that's the thing is like they will literally drive you to death and then feign surprise when you're dead that's it because they don't they don't care about you when you're here and then they're surprised when you're dead they're not surprised they're responsible for it and it's like they are weaponizing suicide and if you look at the statistics right now if you actually look at what's happening and people don't they don't care because they'd just rather be apathetic and live in their little bubbles than actually face the truth and reality of what's going on and how it's a repeat of stuff that was happening in the 1940s that is just being recycled and people are falling for it because they're dumb because they're not informed because they don't want read because the literacy rate is practically it's dropped significantly since they stopped using um phonetics and switched to some other bullcrap method that doesn't work for teaching reading and now we're living in this world where people don't have don't have the critical thinking skills to discern reality from fiction and kids are dying every day kids are dying because of this stuff and it's like i i just think it's really really sad that people would rather just be stuck in the past than and just let people die because they don't want to accept the reality that trans people have always existed, the reality that autistic people have always existed, the reality that there are always going to be people, regardless of whatever it's called, that can't conform. And that if we're driving those people to death rather than changing the system, that's a problem. And it's not something that we should be forcing people who are like 24 years old <clears throat> to, <coughs> to be living with like CPTSD and DID and other people with other like health conditions because they were tortured for years and no one's doing a damn thing about it. And it's, it's disgusting. It's sickening 